Like. All right, the forecast as we shift gears now looks like another hot day of with course. a chance. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a hot day with a chance for something to develop in the Gulf, and then we'll just uh, follow it the next couple of days. We are looking at hot weather still, so uh, hang in there. Let's go outside and see what we do have at the moment. Looking out at the Gulf of Mexico, we don't have an update yet. I've been watching the Hurricane Center to see if they're going to release anything. They will by the end of the hour. We'll have an update from them. But for right now, you can see that it's just still, uh, a, still a swirling mass of clouds there, and it is expected. And you can see the forecast Tracks here, different forecast models trying to put it into Brownsville, which might be good for us. That means the bulk of this, whatever it decides to become, will move into Brownsville. But the front right quad on these usually packs the biggest punch of moisture, and that would wrap around and could stretch into the Austin area and give us some showers here without well, the intensities of whatever it does develop into. Either way, something to watch over the next couple of days. We will get information as we go through the next few minutes, and well, I'll let you know if we have it here. But if not, my next update will definitely have it. 94 degrees. Sunshine right now, a lot of sunshine. Light breeze out of the south at five miles per hour. It's been variable, but it's light. Humidity 40 percent, dew point 66, pressure 29.83, and falling. Temperatures anywhere from 91 in Mason and Fredericksburg to 99 in Lano. You get to 94 here in Austin, then 91 out of the airport. 93 in Georgetown, down to 89 in Bastrop. So a little cooler out that way. 91 in Giddings, 95 in LaGrange, 90 in Lockhart, 95 in San Marcos. Now, statewide, it's been a little hotter. We've seen some numbers up in Dallas where they've had even record low temperatures. The morning low temperature was the warmest that it's been on record uh, in that uh, area of the state. You can see 98 there in Dallas, 97 in Waco, 94 here, then down to 90, and just straight up 90 in San Antonio, then 93 in Corpus Christi. You go out to the west, you get that heat again, 97 in Amarillo, 98 in Oklahoma City. Look at the dark reds that are here all the way into the east and uh, really into the deep south for that matter. Temperatures in the 90s, a lot of folks uh, to those areas aren't used to the heat like we are. Some possibly not having, not having air conditioning because they just don't see this as much this time of the year. But they have been over the past several months. And this, time, this year has been just tremendous for heat. Clouds, had a little bit of cloud cover out there this morning. Had some beautiful sunrise pictures sent to us. We've been enjoying those. You can check our website out for more information. And those pictures get posted there as well. Now, the cloud cover that we have at the moment is far to the east of us in East Texas. Maybe a coastal shower. And then most of the rain is out to the east. Let's go to our forecast model. Tried to show a few clouds there. We had those this morning. This is from 7 a.m. through noontime. And you can see how it's trying to put showers over us. That is not indicative of showers. That's really when the temperatures are extreme and it tends to kind of throw that rain chance in there. That usually means that it's hot. Now, we do have a few showers down on the Texas coast, maybe not as widely pronounced as this, but they're there. Don't expect them to move our way in, and we don't expect them tomorrow. But watch what happens as we go from tomorrow into Friday morning. Notice the clouds and showers here. That, we believe, is whatever becomes of that tropical wave. And right now, forecast models are putting a few showers in there for Friday morning. We will put a rain chance on it. And, of course, we will bump those numbers up if it becomes something more than just a tropical wave. 104 for the high today. You're likely not going to see 104. That's a top end temperature. Hopefully, you're somewhere below that, but I think 100 is a pretty good bet area wide. Winds out of the south at five. Tonight, upper 70s again. That's pretty much the norm for this time of the year and for this season anyway. 104 for today, 102 for tomorrow, then Friday. Big ifs on this. If that system develops, that rain chance could go up significantly. If it goes a different direction, it could stay like this. Either way, though, that is our rain chance, our time frame, Friday through Saturday and possibly into Sunday. And then after that, back to probably hot and humid for a while. And it looks like muggy as we get into Tuesday as well.